Ah, happy sunshine, boys and girls. Today is August 30th. Wow, one more day left to go in August. I wasn't quite sure if we were going to make it. What a busy, busy month this has been. With all the Hat J stuff, all the Hat J misinformation and disinfo campaign that's popping up, and Hurricane Harvey. Wow. There's quite a lot here to stretch our consciousness in opposite directions. So we need to wrap up this Ernest Rothschild document that came to my attention yesterday. Uh, a very tenacious researcher, Diana Denley, is the one that found it. And she was asking questions, just what is it? What does this mean? And I had the same questions, so I posted this video reading through the document and asking you all hey what's up with this what do you know about it and we got a ton of comments and several different uh, researchers out in the hive mind grabbed a hold of this and really took it and I'm really impressed with with the work these several different uh, Independent people or groups pretty much arrived at the same conclusion. And Diana is one of those people. She kept on researching it, came to this conclusion. Uh, Mike O'Brien, let's see, Mike O'Brien, he came to the same conclusion. And here's a link that, I oh don't know, it's this one. So Diana Denley found this page here, and this was really interesting. This was just posted yesterday, the same day as my video asking questions about this. So in response to Ruby's request for more info on the Rothschilds files, I wish to share what I've learned. Uh, and there's seven major points. Uh, Gary Larrabee has hit on this. Uh, apparently there's some narratives out there where Ernest Rothschild thinks that he's the Pharaoh Akhenaten and that his wife is Queen Nefertiti and that they're here for a comeback. I haven't, I haven't looked at any of these links. This, you guys can go dig into this if you want. I, I've pretty much come to the idea for myself that, that this letter, this document, this Rothschilds thing is not anything for us to dig into anymore. It just does not hold its own weight under examination of all these details. So if you really care to know all the ins and outs, it's all enumerated here for you under these seven points. This last seven point, or this last point number seven, it's got ties into a new Islamic State and syndicate courier. And when I click on one of those links here, uh, we definitely have a syndicate courier video here. Uh, I watched syndicates rise together for a little while, a few months, uh, just trying to sort all of this stuff out. There's a few groups that uh, that appear to have paperwork filed in the courts and the gist of, or common gist of all this paperwork is that the powers that were the power structure does not have authority over them and whether or not any of these groups truly do have a legal foundation to make these claims is really why I am here researching the whole Hat J issue to begin with. Now, one, one interesting thing here, I, maybe you guys can clear this up, because I'm coming to this right in the middle of the movie and trying to figure all of this out on my own, and that's with Hat J, the saga. Because when I started reading through the identity hearing transcript, that was when I started making videos. And I was looking for answers and just, 
I knew I had to find them in the observations. So it looks like Mike O'Brien has been on this story, Heather Ann Tucci, for a lot longer. It looks like he's run into some trolls. Is one of them, is one of them named Misbuth, Myth, Myth, My the Buster, or Mythbuster? Um, I'm I'm really not sure what what Mike is trying to communicate to me here. I, I get the first one that, that he figured it out. Uh, he found a lot of the same information that Diana did that I just showed you, uh, pieced it together. I think he also called some of the phone numbers and got some uh, weird observations that way. But he's trying to warn me about something. Uh, And Luna, watch out for that quit perverting the movement is Mythbuster, the troll or shill of shills. He changed his name when I spanked him live and called out his lies. He ran around telling. I, I don't know, maybe there was, I don't know, a typo or if maybe he was writing this on his phone. I, I don't quite understand what he's saying here, but, but is, was there some drama? with a troll and is that what Mythbuster is um, anyways guys what I want to point out is there's the landscape here has been convoluted with with a lot of different observations for us to make and we don't know the veracity of any particular observation that we make when we make it we've got to sit with it a while we've got to examine it dig into it deeper and I wanted to highlight that within a 24 hour period we found this or Diana found this document uh, we asked some questions we posted this video here of mine asking for more questions and some very intelligent and tenacious people came out to help answer that and Diana even got down to the roots of it herself and I want to give Diana a big pat on the back if you look at her comments especially over here on my channel page you'll find out that Diana is a 65 year old grandmother she's just doing this out of the love of her heart she's not happy that she's been lied to for her whole life all 65 years of it you know, she's got 20 more years of being lied to than I do. And guys, this is this is how we figure it out. This is how we pull our head out of the deception is to take a look at these observations and ask ourselves, wow, how does this fit in with the rest of what we know? And it appears that this Rothschild's asset settlement thing was something to distract us. It did take a little bit of our time, but there's no other way other than investing a little bit of time and energy to find out if something's bona fide. And we're all limited in the time and energy that we have. Some people have more. I've got a little bit more, but I don't have a whole lot. Diana's probably got a little bit more. She's 65. But I don't know anything about Diana, so all I can say is that she's got a lot of energy that she's putting into researching this, and she's posting this out there on a forum so that the rest of the world can, can benefit from it. She's doing this out of love. I can feel that. So anyways, we're going to put this to bed. Thank you all for your wonderful work, and this is... This is truth seeking. This is this is how we get our hands dirty. This is how we get through it. I love you guys lots. Thank you so much for all the comments. We had over a hundred comments already on on this video. 107 I believe. Thank you for all the emails, because you guys don't you guys don't see when my email starts popping off. We have a lot of highly intelligent people 
that are very concerned about the state of affairs in the world today. And that is abundantly evident. And I would be remiss if I didn't let you guys know that there are others out there just like you that care and love an awful lot. If you've got any love lighter links for me in this matter or in any of the other ones I talk about on my channel, you can send them to lunacy at protonmail.com, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com. We'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.